Hi everyone, so it is the 1st of February, which means I am kickstarting Frugal February and I'm inviting everyone around the world, no matter where you are, to join in and do Frugal February with me as I share with you every day this month on a vlog what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and how I guess my attitude and headspace is around, you know, saving money for Frugal February. Now, in the past, when I did the first time I did Frugal February, it was an incredible experience. I learned so much about myself, about my values and the way that I spend money and also waste money. It was really, I mean, I think I had over a thousand dollars left over from doing Frugal February, which was brilliant. However, the second time round, which was last year, I became a grumpy, bad tempered bitch. And I don't want to repeat of that. So I've actually really spent some time in preparing to the lead up of Frugal February, adjusting my attitude and my money mindset so I can embrace this personal challenge ahead. Now, if you're going to do Frugal February, here are some quick tips. Number one, plan and prepare. So last night I sent an email out to my family and my friends letting them know I'm doing Frugal February and that they are welcome to join in with me but it was something really important to me so I won't be able to do participate in any, any sort of particularly expensive activities. But if they want to do something with me, um, it can always be budget friendly and if they have any ideas that will help me be frugal in February, I would love to know. So everyone replied back and um, it was great to hear their support and they're encouraging it and they may even get on board and do it with me. The next thing is, is I'm looking at what are the realistically, where can I actually save money? Because I do not want frugal February this year to be about depriving myself or being cruel. Um, I have some non-negotiables in frugal February where I'm not going to, um, you know, reduce or jeopardize the quality of the food that I put into my body. I'm going to invest in like healthy, fresh fruit and vegetables, um, even if that means um, spending more. And I'm also going to prioritize like my time and the respect of time. So if it means I have to pay for something to help, for someone to help me the time is worthwhile. Like for example, getting my groceries um, delivered to my home rather than going to the supermarket myself. And also on that note of time, um, I thought about maybe like putting my gym membership um, on hold to save that monthly membership fee. But then I realized no, because I get such a great return on my investment from my gym membership. So it is really important to plan and prepare. I've also sat down and worked out what are the key areas in the way I'm going to like come up with savings for money and what am I going to do with it? Well, already I have um, got a coffee machine, so I'm making my coffees now at home, which I'm hoping will not only save me money, but also save me time because I can enjoy a coffee in the privacy of my own home. And um, I'm also not going to have the temptation to go and buy like banana bread. Okay. And then finally, another thing that I've done to really kickstart some decent savings for Frugal February is I normally do one bulk gross shop at the beginning of each month, which is when I get paid. And that is all my like heavy stuff like toilet papers, um, dog foods, um, cleaning products, um, you know, washing detergents, things like that. If things that are quite bulky, quite heavy. I always do them in a big shop, you know, at the beginning of each month. Now, I always allow myself a budget of around about $200 and that means that if I, ha I can stock up on products that I might be running low on and that I always have a, a, you know, a just-in-time supply in the house. However, what I did was I went through my um, like cupboards and pantries and fridge and freezer and worked out what I really need and what, can I, what products can I actually stretch out um, to try and like push through a month. So, you know, maybe not using as much washing powder or maybe use, you know, hand washing instead of running the, the dishwasher. All these little things I'm going to try and do this month to try and, I guess, make that $200 upfront shop smaller. And I've sat down last night and went through my um, grocery store online and I think I've potentially saved at least $50 by, you know, shopping more consciously. And also another good point is I've also looked at swapping brands. So I've substituted some of my normal brands with more cost effective ones. And I'm really paying attention to the actual dollar breakdown that they have on my shopping website. For example, we'll say, you know, it's it's equivalent of a dollar twenty seven for um, per hundred mils for this product or a dollar eighty seven for the equivalent of hundred hundred mils for the other product. I'm going with cheaper substitutes and it's really adding up. So what I'm gonna do is when I go and finalize and press confirm um, and check out for my monthly grocery shop, I will work out exactly how much I've saved 
and put it in this money box, which I'm borrowing from Rocco for Frugal February. Now, that means I also need to empty this money out first. But the point is that I'm raising here is I'm actually going to consciously and proactively take out the savings out of my um, everyday bank account and put them in here. So every day I can hopefully add money to this is going to build up. And then at the end of frugal February, I will open this up in front of you, count how much money I've saved, as well as obviously sharing with you throughout the month through my daily vlogs as to how I am saving money. Now, I really hope this inspires you to do this yourself because remember, the money that you save yourself from doing Frugal February, you can put towards your own financial goals or even your own personal lifestyle goals. It doesn't matter, it's your choice because it's your money that you are saving and you're the one who's committed to, us, to, committed to this and obviously dedicated to making it actually happen. Now, the money that I end up with at the end of this month is going towards kickstarting the $1,000 project. So I have got a big goal for the $1,000 project. I want to save and invest $42,000 over the next 12 months. So I've got a big job ahead of me. But this is also perfect timing because the $1,000 project book launches at the end of this month and you can actually pre-order this book so it arrives before anyone else gets their hands on it. So I will put a link in the description box below for you. But I'm really excited about sharing this experience with you. Um, please bear with me with these daily vlogs. Um, I'm going to try my best to do them every day for you because you guys ask for them. And um, I, if you your, yourself have any suggestions to help me save money, um, please let me know. But the daily vlogs will be starting tomorrow. So Make sure you subscribe and enjoy them.